six, nine, Today we have a new package. We are going to unbox, install, test this Creality Auxiliary fan and I'm really excited. So let's get to the unboxing of this package. So right away inside we see the installation guide, Auxiliary fan cooling system instruction manual. So it shows you how to install it here and on which board so if I look at this board it is a board that is probably a 4.2.2 or 4.2.7 um, why do Creality not include the board of an S1 or an S1 Pro so which is a different board and here I can see you have to connect it on a way of that just shows on the 4.2.2 and 4.2.7 so strange because I think this has been advertised for all the Enders and even Ender Tree uh, S1 and Ender Tree S1 Pro. Um, so I think there are even more printers that support this. Well, that this should support them. Also, here is the fan. The fan has three connections here for the fans. Well, this shroud has a board that controls the amount of air it's going to put out and also an output here well this is the connection port that goes to this cable and the other side of the cable yes we see that it has these two let me just open it up so we can see it up close so zip ties and the cable and an Allen screwdriver which is good so one side goes to the fan which is how it's supposed to be like this and the other side I hope this cable is long enough to reach your motherboard because this has to go up and down with the gantry so if it goes really high I'm afraid we will have to make this cable longer we'll have to see and also I have to say that these are fans that are well branded Creality all of them and also 24 volts DC brushless all of them are 24 volts so it's supposed to get a 24 volts output into this um, we'll have to assemble it and test it all together stay tuned this video is sponsored by PCBWay.com the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards tell us what you need then let us design and manufacture your PCBs to the highest level Low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just $5. Get an instant quote and join our online community at PCBWay.com. So the installation is pretty much straightforward, you would think, but it isn't. You have to use these 24-volt uh, connector here on the back of the MCU. The motherboard has already a connection on there, which is uh, the power supply going into the MCU. And you have to... Well, so, um, put in two more cables, which is the uh, positive and the negative that comes out of the auxiliary fan. And that goes in there and you tighten the bolts again here, just two bolts. And then you can close up your MCU bolt here. Well, it's pretty much dusty because I haven't been using this printer, to be honest, for a long time. But now we're going to test it with this uh, auxiliary fan. So, yes. It does put out a lot of noise. You have a dial here. You, have, you can make it faster or slower. But if you really want to use this as an auxiliary fan and you want to do some, let's say, a really fast bench or something and keep the quality, uh, I think you need to uh, turn it up. So let's turn it up and start the print. I'm going to try a really fast benchy.
So, <laughs> the bench is finished guys. It took 19 minutes to print it, which is awesome for an Ender Tree V1 machine. Well, it's kind of V1 uh, gantry, but all the rest is like updated. So this is the benchy that an uh, uh, Bamboo X1 Carbon can do in 17 minutes uh, print. And this is a 19 minutes print. So let's try to take this off there and check what's, what the output is like. So, um, well, it isn't as perfect as the bamboos is, that's for sure. But I think for a 19 minutes benchy, this looks really nice on the Ender Tree V2, let's say V2. Uh, there was in the beginning a little bit of a problem here, but for the rest, look here, the cooling. You can actually compare it to the... Um, bamboos front here this is the cooling part this is very important for cooling well as we are using the auxiliary fan and if i really like push it i think i can get to 17 minutes if i push it because this is tweaked um print but you can see this is solid this is not like you know hollow or something it uses less of a infill that's that's true but it still is rigid enough to say this is a benchy so this is also rigid well this probably weights a bit more and this weights a bit less so guys as you can see this is the results that an auxiliary fan can do i can also print one without the auxiliary fan but you we all know what's going to happen if i print a 90 minutes benchy on the industry v2 with kind of some tweaks and updates it's not going to come out well it's probably going to fail is this worth it to buy yes worth the price if you're willing to give everything to your printer like an auxiliary fan is really important if you're printing faster and if you're printing a uh, weird angles you know angles that are without support if you want to use less support if you're using like the auxiliary fan and you want to do extreme angles yeah that's still going to fail bamboo has the same problem any printer has the same problem so auxiliary fan definitely works definitely helps but is it a magic tool no but yes, in, in, the, in this case, it kind of was a magic tool to be able to print a 19 minutes benchy on the Ender 3 V2. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. And I hope you learned something about the auxiliary accessory of Creality that just came out. I'm not going to say I, I fell in love with it because I think they can do a little bit better. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the thumbs up anyways if you didn't like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Bye!